and welcome to day 10. I just walked all the way to the front of the park, got to the gate, only to realize that I forgot my wallet in the car. And I parked at sea. Great start to the day. <laughs> um, gonna head in today, and when I make my way back up to the front, I'm gonna go in, fill up my cup, and we're gonna find Miss Pam, a host here at Dollywood. And uh, I believe she said she has a popcorn bucket for us so we can do a little popcorn challenge later in the vlog. Or later in the challenge, rather. It's gonna be another hot day here at Dollywood. I tell you, I'm really looking forward to the fall and the winter. Because being out here in this heat, 30 days straight, no bueno. No bueno. But. We're gonna make the best of it. And today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna show you all some of the shops and I'm really gonna take time to look at all the food options here at Dollywood. So I'm hoping the food festivals are open, the food booths, but I'm gonna wager not. I talked to a host about it and she said that they are just so understaffed right now that they just can't open it. But they are opening to phase two on July 16th. She didn't know what that meant, so maybe I can ask somebody else about it but we're gonna get in here and start our day also another note if you have people that don't want to walk or take the tram you can drop them off here at the front and then go find your parking spot and it works as well if you want to go pick them up when you're leaving the park right here next to the entrance Oh, wow. So this was a festival food shop right here and they've taken down the banners and everything. So I guess it just will not open. Sad. I really wanted to try that ganache brownie. But oh well. Let's go see Miss Pam. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. You don't mind being here, do you? Oh, not at all. This is Miss Pam. She's wonderful. She's hooking us up with a popcorn bucket and some free popcorn here. So come see Miss Pam if you're here. Have a good day. Thank you. Enjoy Have a good one, Pam. Hooked us up with popcorn and a bucket. How awesome is she? See, the vlog has its uh, advantages. Right there. Free merch. Love it. So thanks to Miss Pam, we're official Dollywood junkies now, holding off the popcorn and the cup. We're official. I think we're gonna head back into the village and ride the train. I also would like to find Dolly's secret apartment. I know it's somewhere over here. Let's see if I can find it. After talking to a host, she said that they've tore it down. It used to be right over here in this area and they've tore it down. That's sad. I was hoping to get a picture of it, but oh well. We'll keep moving. So the first train runs in an hour. So we'll come back in an hour. Depot Master is Frank today. Let's go check out Temple's Mercantile. Something to pay attention to. It's important that you enter where you're supposed to and exit where you're supposed to, or you will be scolded. Not really scolded, they'll just ask you nicely to go around. So the entrance to Temple's Merchantile is on the back side towards the county fair. Good Dollywood hoodies in this place. Wildwood Grove hat. I really like the Dollywood shirts with the bear on it. Looks really good. So now the real question is, what do they go for? $16.99 for the t-shirts. $17.99 for the bear shirts. Ooh. I like this one a lot. 
Dollywood 1986. Don't see a price on them though. Huh. Well, you know the thing. It's free then. Nice assortment of Dollywood hats here. Little candies. They have an ATM in here. Good to know. Here's some more Dollywood hats up here and some visors. Pretty cool. And then over there, we got some assorted stuffed animals, children's toys. And looks like you can build a bear in here. That's pretty cool. You can build a bear and dress it up over here. Pretty neat. I didn't know they had that here. So if you want to do a Build-A-Bear, come to Temple Mercantile in Dollywood. You can do it here. Some nice tie-dye shirts. Those will run you $19.99. Some sun hats. Those will run you $12.99. Pretty neat. Some more hoodies. Everybody likes a good hoodie. $32.99 for this one. I like this hoodie. Let's see what the price of this one is. $32.99. So it seems to be the uh, same price for the hoodies all around. In this shop anyway. And you got the guns. They used to have pop guns, but I guess they got uh, annoyed with them because like, you'd be walking around the, the park and you'd hear pop, pop, pop all day. All right, let's get out of here. Growing up as a kid, I used to always come over here to this magic shop. I bet it's not open right now, but I used to buy all sorts of gags and stuff and get into trouble in school with like disappearing ink and stuff like that. It doesn't look like it's open though, which is sad. And they used to do a magic show right here. I think they still do, but I still don't know if they're doing it right now. Let's have a look. Yep, it is closed. That's sad. This was my favorite spot to come to as a kid. Oh, well. Oh, there's me. All right, so we got an hour to kill till the train, so let's go find something to do. As you can see right here, looks like they're taking in another food booth. So if you're very hot and you're tired, you can come over here to the Professional Porch Sitters Union and just take a break. Maybe get some barbecue fries from behind you there. It's shaded and they're comfy. I'm gonna head up the hill here to look at the Barnstormer. I rode this ride a long time ago when I was a kid, and I haven't rode it since. The idea is that you are, there's two biplanes and you're flying through a barn. Pretty fun ride as I remember it. Doesn't look like it's operating though. See the dueling daredevils. But I don't see it running. This may be kind of like Daredevil Falls where not everybody realizes that it's here. But eh, let's go give it a ride. Why not? Oof. Just got off Barnstormer. Feel a little sick. That ride is crazy. I haven't rode it since a little kid. I gotta get my hat out. Wow. That ride's intense. Be sure to come check this one out. It's kind of hidden, but definitely find it. Barnstorm. I'm about to show y'all some footage.
Just got a refill on my drink. Gonna head to the train. Hopefully get us a good seat. Now, something I don't think they do anymore, they used to actually have a, you would stop on the train ride and somebody would rob you. I don't think they do it anymore, but we'll see. Let's go check it out. So this is the train line, just 15 minutes before we're about to take off. So my advice, get here early if you wanna ride the train. So I went to the Spotlight Bakery and grabbed a turkey sandwich and a cupcake. Um, I'm pretty much just heading out. I'm gonna eat it in the car. Um, I'm really tired. The last four days have been very long days and I haven't had a lot of time to just relax and rest. So I'm leaving the park at noon today, but I got a lot of content and I'm very happy with what we did. So I called an early day today, go home. I need to rest up a little bit because we still got 20 more days to go so we're one third of the way there so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it for now y'all take it easy